we're back. Hi, Maria. Hey. You're back. We have some we have some additional things to talk about, yes. right? Some yep. really exciting things. Let's talk about you're on the board of the West Leesburg Community Development Corporation. I am, yes. And so they're having um, a seafood and jazz festival. Um, I, and the organizers for that is Z Z Carter mm -hmm. and Consuela. Yes. And I'm not I'm gonna mess up her last name. <laughs> So I'm not going to do it, Consuela. I'm sorry. But everyone knows Z and everyone knows Consuela. They're doing an awesome job. Yes, they are. With this, um, with this, um, the Seafood and Jazz Festival. Correct. And it's going to be at Ski Beach, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And it's going to be good food, good singing, mm -hmm. vendors, um, a beautiful area. So can you tell me a little bit about West Leesburg Community Development Corporation? I can. Okay. All right. Let's <laughs> so talk Wesleysburg about that. CDC is a community organization that is all about the redevelopment of the neighborhood that is considered Mount Clare, Mount Clare and Carver Heights. And they do a lot of, um, it's a lot of community development. So it's bringing the neighbors together, um, doing cleanups, looking at how they can um, revitalize that part of Leesburg and and getting a lot of buy-in from the community and that's that's uh, that in that neighborhood particularly so um, West Leesburg CDC has always hosted Juneteenth which is a huge celebration for Leesburg and it's always typically have been, has been in the past the third Saturday of June and if you don't know what Juneteenth is I suggest you get on Google you look it up but it is the emancipation of slavery and it's the one last hurrah and it's saying it's done it's over let's move forward and so um, with that within the culture they've always uh, designated June as being the Juneteenth celebration um, goes with the name right and so, so they're celebrating pretty much the uh, from end the of first slavery. yeah so on June the 1st yes. this um, this is taking place over at Ski Beach so we want everyone to come out and enjoy this. It's going to be awesome. Z and Consuela has been working extremely, extremely hard. Yes. Um, along with the board. Yep. I'm not going to leave yeah, the board absolutely, out. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, along with the board, but those ladies have been out talking and they are the ones that's, you know, like foot to the ground. Yeah, you they know? have an amazing lineup of musicians yeah. that will be on the main stage playing music. Musicians that you, you probably have not heard of here locally because they don't. David Oliver Willis will be there, but there's a few other ones that even I had to look up and I'm a music buff. So <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm, a, I'm excited about that. Yes, yeah. So, and then so I was excited food. about the, the, the food. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> excited about the music. <laughs> I'm excited about the music. Don't get me wrong, but you know, well, the food. Um, the food is going to be amazing. Yeah. Then they have a pie uh, yeah. contest yes, yes, um, that's yes. happening. And then we, the Leesburg Center for the Arts, is hosting the Kid Zone. Okay. So we will be there. Um, we're, we've got a couple of projects we're planning, so mm -hmm. I'm not announcing them because I want you to be excited when you get there and surprise. So come on out and get the surprise on the pie. Um, Simone, okay. who was here earlier, will be <laughs> there um, in a tent to uh, talk about or at, to promote her, the Dance for Haiti event that's happening mm -hmm. this summer. So I think there's going to be artist vendors that will be there. There will be different makers. So I think it's going to be a great way to unify our community and bring people together under one, um, for one cause. So that, it's and, really cool. And Ski Beach is just one of those beautiful scenic areas yes. in Leesburg, right? I mean, right? you're looking, it's 11 to 6. Yeah. So you can, um, if you have a boat, come on boat because you can yeah. dock right there. Uh, there's plenty of parking. You, it'll, it's just going to be fun. So I'm it's excited about fun. that. Yes, it's um, going to be fun. The food is going to be yep. delicious. I'm back on that food thing. The food is going to be delicious. So, um, and I just want to say about West Leesburg Community Development Corporation, it is an awesome organization, mm -hmm. and they work very hard. Um, they do. The board, um, everyone worked very hard from the previous. Um, board members to the current board mm -hmm. members. They have worked very hard um, over in the community to make a lot of things happen over there. Yes. So thanks for being on that board. Uh, uh, absolutely. And that. thanks for being their spokesperson today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <Okay>. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now let's move on. Um, the city. Yes. It's getting ready to have a, what is it, a visionary? And so they've um, sent out a public notice that they are hosting a, a vision meeting here on May 30th, and it's for their downtown master plan. So why it's important is that if you care about what the downtown looks like or the plans for downtown, 
it's, it's a really great way, especially if you are into arts and culture and want to bring public arts, it's a really great format or forum to come out and voice what you would love to see happen here in the next 10, 15 years. Um, city officials are running the program, mm -hmm. so and they are they are behind the the putting the master plan together. So they want to hear your voice. So come on out. It is uh, May 30th, Thursday, here at the Art Center, uh, 429 West Magnolia Street. Starts at 5:30. Um, and they want to hear from our community. So I think it's important. Mm -hmm. And if you if you have an opinion, come out. If you want to see something happen here in downtown, Performing Arts <laughs> wink, Center. Wink, 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 right? wink. But wink, I can wink. only wink. Yeah, so you can only see the uh, Performing <laughs> Arts wink, Center, wink. Okay. Public Arts, all of those really cool things. And um, this is a great forum to express your um, express your passion for it. So you're so. going to be expressing some things. Oh, today? I'm expressing. <laughs> I, I don't want. I don't be vocalizing my want we, list. We, we don't want to know, but I'm <laughs> sure you're going to be list. expressing. <laughs> if you roll the list out, you're going to be expressing. They always some get things. nervous when I come around because yeah. I'm like, hey, but you I know, want I, this, I just want to commend the the city. Um, of Leesburg and I want to commend the commissioners, the yes. city managers. I Unfortunately, I will be in Tampa um, to a couple of grandbabies graduations, Aww. but and I, I'm hating that I'm not going to be here, but you know, it's understandable. I got to support yeah, those grandbabies. Of course. Um, so, uh, but I do want to take the time to say um, about the city officials and the city manager and everyone that's involved mm -hmm. in putting this together and coming together and want to hear uh, yes. um, from the public and want to hear from the community um, some of the things um, to help bring the arts, yes. more of the arts, to yes. the city of Leesburg. Yes. That's a big thing. It know? is. It's huge. And it and it's not just for the arts, but I'm well, going to say yeah, it's for yeah, the I'm arts. Yeah, I'm going to say it's for the arts. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Um, uh, but that, moving forward, I want to bring up one more thing. Mm -hmm. um, just. So, uh, June 7th, we have a new exhibit coming in, which we typically don't do um, gallery shows over the summer. Okay. This will be our first year that we bring in uh, a June exhibit, and mm. it's the the featured artist is Carol Napoli. She is a abstract artist that works with acrylics and mixed media. Um, amazing. Her pieces are so inspirational. Mm -hmm. um, she brings in, uh, her belief system is Christian, so she brings in a lot of sim symbolism in there, and the colors are really vibrant there. She works with primary colors, um, so they speak to your heart almost instantaneously. Um, so I, I suggest, I suggest, I urge you, I say, come mm -hmm. on, you're invited. Join us June 7th here at the Art Center at 630. Meet the artist and visit this spectacular show. It's going to be amazing. So I kind of want to reach back and then come, come yeah, forward sorry. again. I jumped it, forward into that one. It, it's okay, because I know you're excited, but I'm going to reach yeah. further back than that. I yeah. know we were talking about the city, but I want to go back and touch bases on the city of Leesburg with the arts. Yes. Um, and I want to talk about the, um, the art festival. Yes, okay. And I want to find out from you, from the art festival, have, do you think that some of the programs have increased um, based on um, the crowd? Um, that was here or the phone calls are you getting are you still getting any phone calls we get we get a lot of inquiries and um of people interested they want to mm -hmm. know what's happening what we're doing um we've gotten we get a lot of inquiries about classes mm -hmm. art classes uh student classes uh, for youngsters um we get uh, are we do we have performances so it's a little bit of everything because the art festival was a celebration of all the arts mm -hmm. so now uh, people are which is great looking us up to go okay maybe are they do they are they hosting concerts are they they had a com we had a comedy I was show say you had a comedy yeah. show here in this and this was from was, orlando right yes yes okay. uh, taylor Boy boyd was the host of the comedy show he's also the facilitator and he brings um his show here and he's done it now um twice in the mm -hmm. last six months so he is phenomenal easy to work with great he brings in great talent um, and we had a really great crowd everyone la I was getting comments um, mes messages from friends and board members that I, that had attended the show and they're like we laughed our butt off this was a great this was <laughs> I know, a great I saw show some of those comments yeah. you know and it was <laughs> so, a good participation too. yeah absolutely yeah and, it was a good it was different yes and this air we Leesburg really wants to have a performing arts venues, like to have places to go and see concerts and see shows. And, and, and we that have, would be so awesome. 
Yeah, so I awesome. mean, Mellon Patch is an amazing theater. Mm -hmm. We they have done a, a, a wonderful job uh, amping up their their showcase. So I'm ex and we partner with them a lot too. And when I say we want to see more shows, we just want to have more opportunities. Right. So um, I think that that if we can build on what our foundation that we have now and be able to bring in more. I, I'm for it. Well, unfortunately, we have to end this conversation. It's it's okay. Uh, yep. The I music the is playing, I hear the and jingle. we have to stop. <laughs> but there'll be more to talk about the next time. Yes, absolutely. So until the next time, Art Talk. I'm Vonda Parker, your host. To learn more about the Leesburg Center for the Arts, log on to leesburgarts.com.